Hi friends, welcome back. And so today I'm just going to do a little quick uh, flip through of my October standard traveler's notebook. I've kind of set it up for the month. Um, I will be using it exactly the same way as I did for September, just as daily pages here. And also kind of like a it's like a quick listing scribble planner. It's, it's really just for me um, to stay focused and get things done that I need to get done. So it's not really a bullet journal. It's not really... I'm a pl planner. It's more of like just a list and ideas and things like that. So anyway, um, let me go ahead and show you. I have some different covers here as well that I'm just going to go ahead and pick which one I want to do. But their theme for the month of October, they is in uh, Coco Daisy, and I'll link it below, was flannel and frost. And this is like their theme. They, they kind of have pick a theme every month and go with it, and this is what they picked for the month of October. It's really pretty. So it's definitely not Halloween, which is, I always tend to go more Halloween for October, but I'm going to enjoy not and doing something a little bit different. Um, I also got this card with it, and it's just like a blank month card, which I really liked. And then I picked up, I went ahead and added on to my card, because my subs, this is a subscription, and I only ever get the insert. I don't get any add-ons, but um, when they do a release of it, they have like a few days before they, they send it out that, that you could add things on. And I added on these cute little sticky notes. I thought they were so cute and kind of go, obviously, they're, they're meant to go with this, but they, they really do a good job. I have a bunch of washes I pulled here, too, so I'll show you. So what I do is I, because this is a daily planner, sometimes there's 30 pages and sometimes... Um, I need more. Um, I go ahead and copy it and I'll show you what I do. So I just kind of glued these on here to make this look really cute. This is going to be for my forward planning kind of things I need to do for the month of October. And the theme here is Autumn Carries More Gold in Its Pocket Than All Other Seasons. It's by Jim Bishop. It's a beautiful saying. And then I went ahead and wrote in here. Now I've used some stamps and my stamps are these here. They, they kind of, I have all of them over here, but they, they snap together. Um, and they're, I'll try to link them below if I can find them. I got them a long time ago on Amazon. Um, this is what they look like here. So if I can link them below, I will for you. But I went ahead and I used um, the Vintage Photo uh, Ranger ink, because it's what I had. And I, I typed, I mean, I stamped up here. It says currently. And a fun thing to know, I also use these. This is a stamping pad or a stamping board that I use when I'm stamping in planners and things to give it stability and to, you know, kind of help it out so it's easier to stamp with a cleaner, crisper image. So again, I'll try to link this below. Everything I'll try to link below if I can. So I go ahead and this is just a, a page that looks like this. It's, it's, um, it just has lines and I divide it up and this is my, it's kind of my at a glance for the month, if you will. And then I go ahead and I picked things that I want to keep track of and look back on every month. And then I write these in here. So I have reading, watching, but I meant for this to be waiting for or purchasing or whatever, but that's fine. Watching, meal. It'll be fun for watching this time because um, of movies. But anyway, we'll, I digress. So reading, uh, watching, meal, um, wearing, makeup, celebrating, planning, and then this is for my grandson, different things he's doing this month, planners, quote, craft, improving, loving, and feeling, and those are just kind of things I want to keep track of and write a little bit about, and I really enjoy that. And then I went ahead and set up my pages, so I, I went ahead and drew the line. This is the line there where I put my deco stickers and my listing section here, and then this is just like my scribbling section, if you will. So I went ahead and just drew the line on all these pages, and I'm just flipping through to kind of show you. And what I do is I pick kits or stickers that kind of match this theme, and I'll show you those in just a moment of ones I have pulled. It's a little hedgehog. Um, and then pumpkin, pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes, super cute. And then these are like um, the blank pages, and I went ahead and just drew some lines in here, so it's all ready. It says October is my favorite color. You have your sunflowers there. Oops. And this I just tipped it. Uh, I just I didn't tip in. I just washed it in. So I can write more notes in here. And I stamped notes. And again, I stamped a menu. And I put like a little leaf there just to kind of put it in here. I love to keep track of my monthly meals all in one of what I eat all month long. So it's just one section, one look at it, if you will. Um, and so that's what I did there. This is just for me to whatever. Sometimes I write quotes in here. Sometimes I write you know notes, whatever I need to have in there. And then again, I'll just continue to flip through here. I've already set it all up. I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. That's from Anna Green Gables. It's one of my favorites. And then these are the dot grid pages. I think I love fall most of all. And then it says autumn paints in colors that summer has never seen. It's beautiful. And then I love these colors. It's going to be really fun to, to use this this month. And then at the very end, because there's 30 of these, and the reason there's 30 is because I don't use these for dailies. I use these for other, this section for other things. Otherwise, it would work. But what I did was I went ahead and I put, I had some of these from, a, 
Here, I have it right over here, I think. I just pulled them out of my, I had this blackout book that I use, and it's, it's beautiful. Um, and it's from Archer and Oliver, one of my favorites. Um, and I just pulled out two pages and trimmed them down. And now you can see the tape here. I tipped that one in. And then I just glued this one to the very back sheet. So it's kind of like bumpy because of the glue. But that's okay. But these actually have a dot grid pattern. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. And I want to use these for Halloween. So I'm going to kind of just keep track of my whole Halloween. I'll be setting this up especially for Halloween. And that's what I'm going to do. So what I did was I went ahead and took a picture, uh, a copy of this as well, a photocopy. And then I just, you can see it I messed it up a little bit. That's okay. I want this to be just rustic. But this is health. And this is going to be for my, um, where I'm going to track my, um, my workouts, if you will. I want to track what I'm, if I'm walking, if I'm doing any weightlifting, if I'm doing yoga, anything like that. I want to track it throughout the month there. So this, that's what this is. It's really, it is like a little bullet journal, I guess, but it's already set up. And that's how I have it here. So I'm going to be using this quite heavily for the month, and I will be doing uh, videos with it. So now I've been using this one here for the month of September. I have something on. I think I got pin on it. Um, it's beautiful suede, and it's mustard. But I like to switch my covers, and it's one of the reasons why I like the standard notebook so much, because I have a bunch of covers. So I pulled these three out, and these are the three I'm going to look at for the month of October. I'm leaning towards this one, to be honest, but um, these two are from, are from Webster's Pages. This one I have never used, and it just says, they all have a little tag. This one says beautiful. This is a suede black, which I thought would be so fun to use for um, Halloween. I'll just kind of show you guys what these look like. Um, it has like glitter in here. All of them come with a blank notebook. Just a blank one, which I love for notes. Um, and you can just see how pretty the pockets are inside there. So that one is what I'm, I'm leaning towards this one or this one. This one is actually from the, the Leather Quill Shop. It's, it has its own shop. Um, uh, it's not on Etsy. I, it was on Etsy, but it's on its own shop now. And I went ahead and put a Foxy Fix pocket in here. So this is beautiful as well and would be super fun. But I think I'm leaning towards using this one. This is the one I used last year. This says Stay Wild. This is Sedona co a color. And you can see it's already still like, this is my grandbaby. Oh, he's so big now. Um, this, this is what I used last year. You can kind of see I still have it all kind of set up. Um, here we go. We even have cute little, uh, I think these were, I think this was uh, Coffee Monsters Co. Anyway, yeah, so I think this is what I'm going to use is just this one. And I really don't do a lot of setup like this um, anymore. Um, so let's see how I'm going to do this. Oh yeah, I have the spell in here. I think I'll go ahead and use this. Let me pull these out. It's so interesting to look back and see what you were doing. Oh, this is a, this is an extra one. Here we go. There we go. And I have, oh, that's pretty as well, isn't it? This is my Thanksgiving and my Christmas, uh, plan ahead. And I tip, I just, uh, used extensions for these and this was just my list I just had some soups and different recipes and things in here that was, that was like my budgeting so okay we're gonna go ahead and just empty it all out with all this because I really want it to be um, more Halloweenish. and honestly I'd like to use these pockets for um, that's for my team football um, for well, that would be pretty though I'll keep that I kind of want to keep my grandbaby there. He is, this is when he was a lot littler. Now he's two. Um, so this is from last year, of course. Okay. So I'm going to set these aside for right now. I can always add things back in as I want. But truthfully, I really just like to take a vellum sheet. I'm just going to steal, I think, this one here from here. I'm just going to wrap that around this. And then I'm going to go right in the middle, which happens to be this page here. And I'm only going to be using two um, inserts in this. I don't like my books super packed. I just, I just don't. Um, I never have. So I won't be doing that. I have a bunch of clips in here I'm going to have to take off. Um, I do like to put this card here, whatever the theme is. There we go. And then I have my, my cute little uh, notes. There we go. Oops. Let me see. Oh my gosh, my grandbaby is so cute. I'm tempted to use this vellum though. I think I want to save that and use it for um, Thanksgiving. This is more of a Thanksgiving thing to me. 
Okay, and then the only other insert that I was using was my, um, I'm not, I'm not going to put it in here yet, but I will, is the, this one here that I've been using for my meal planning. You can see I've actually been using it just a couple weeks, but I really liked it. So this will be going in here, and I might just be, I'm probably just going to be taking it off of all this. But this one is my month of September. Oh, I want to put some of these over here. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to stick my football stickers in here. These are from Rise and Plan, and she has all different colors of teams. But I just this one's from Jessica Jessica Hearts, and it's um, like um, it's actually like a, a see-through. And it's just really pretty in fall. I just like the look of that there. But I only have a few more days on this, and I'm done. So let's see. Yeah, what I you can see what I um, today is Saturday when I'm doing this. So we've got Sunday. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I'll be in this other one here. So I'm just going to go ahead and decorate and finish the week from this week into here. I like to have the one, the first through the end of the month in the specific planner and binder. I don't care if they cross over. Honestly, that's probably what I should do right now is just take these two out. So I think I will. Um, I just take both of these out. And I'm going to have to grab a different, let me take my hobo dots with me. And I have a, some of my favorite shops, and I have coupon codes on those. So I'm just going to put those in here. And these are some of my hollow dots, again, from a favorite shop. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and just take these and move this back one. And I will end up sharing these right here. So I'll put October on that last string. I'll string, and I'll go ahead and put September, which is super full right now, um, on this first string here. There we go. So I have September, and then there's October. And then the very last here, I'm going to go ahead and just stick my meal planner in here so I can switch over for the last week of the month. And we'll be right here. There we go. Super cute. Okay. It's not too full. Perfect. I just, like I said, I don't like mine super full. And I do have these. These were from, I lost the little bow on this one. These were from. The Planner Society, I believe. They're really cute, and they're just they're great bookmarks. I'm honestly, just gonna stick them right here for now, um, just so you know I have them there. I can use them, and I have a pencil board as well that I used to write on in here. So I go to the day I'm at, and I'm at this Saturday, so I do it the day before like this, so I can you know, have a place to write. But I've really, really enjoyed this notebook so much. So I definitely uh, want to continue to use this. And I just wanted to decorate it and use it the theme of whatever it is. It's not Halloween, but that's why I did a special little page here. I'm going to have to re-glue that. That's going to, yeah, I'm going to have to re-glue that, I think. Um, yeah, I just want to have a special place. And I don't, I mean, this is extra, so I can only just use this page here if I want as well. But I just wanted something black for Halloween. Um, but that is how I'm going to use it. Just super simply, you can see I really do not set it up like fancy or anything. I like it to be very much um, about you know what I need in functionality in this planner. Um, so let me just kind of stick that there. But that is it. So I'll, let me show you the kits that I've pulled to kind of go with those colors really quickly. Okay guys, these are the four kits I have, and there's reasons for these as well, but I really want this to be Halloween heavily as well. Um, this was just a really, really cute fall one. So these, I have two from Paper Crown Planner that I print and cut yourself, and then I have two from Exo Mama Plans, who is a favorite of mine. But these are just so pretty, and the reason also is because I'm adding the extra few days of October, um, and so I can print and cut extra pages, right? So I'm probably gonna start with this one, I'm thinking. And I'll just do a quick little flip through and show you the kit. And again, I've already printed some extra pages so I can have this go for more than one week. It'll be like, what, seven, eight, nine, ten days possibly. But really, I, it, it's just such a, look how beautiful that is. Um, so there's that one there. And then I have this one, it's called Witchcraft from Ex Mama Plans. Um, and so I, this is the deluxe kit with all the, it's like the deluxe kit with add-ons. Um, this is the boxes, but it starts like this, and you have your pages one and two that come together, and then you can add on or take away whatever you want. But I thought these colors would go well with this kit. Here's the beautiful full boxes. Um, here's your dates and headers, your lists and icons, your bottom washi, which is in two sections, which I love. Um, and then you have your small stuff. You're in your small washi. These are all washi. 
And then you have my extras, which have the numbers. And this is the extra week that I have here. So I could use this as well if I wanted. And then I also have um, the checklist here. So that is, that one's witchcraft. I like to keep the boxes up just so I can see the theme of the kit. And then this is another one from Paper Crown Planner, which is, um, so these are more darker, both of these. One of these, either one of these will be for Halloween, I'm not sure. You'll have to stay tuned for my plan with me. But this one I think was called Spooky Night. This was Pumpkin Patch, and I think this was called Spooky Night. Um, anyway, here's the, the kit. I just thought the little kids, is this is so cute with their little feet. Um, and again, you will see Plan With Me's with all of these. Um, with this kit, you can print as much as you want or as little as you want. And I, that's, you know, what I love about printing your own as well. There's that, and that's the bottom washi. And then I also have this one, which just says Horror Night, but this... I only like happy Halloween things, but so these aren't like too bad for me. It's just a witch and a little ghost, a bat, and a haunted house, you know, so it's not too bad. So I can do that, but anyway, I just thought it was really pretty, and I love the deco, and these colors would be great. I love her bottom washi, so that one there. So those are the ones I'm thinking about for the month of October. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed my like little flip through here, my setup for October. Um, I'll link everything that I can below, all the shops and everything below, so I hope that... Um, this was fun for you, maybe gave you some fun ideas of some things and um, kind of a look ahead of what's to happen here on my channel for the month of October. So thank you guys so much. I'm wishing you a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.